Hi everyone, today I will show you my presentation about multi-temporal SAR change detection using wavelet transform. Presented by me, Nizal Boulel from Institut Agro RAN Angers and prepared with my colleague David Rousseau from University of Angers. In this study, we propose a new method for automatic change detection and multi-temporal SAR images based on statistical wavelet subband modeling. The proposed method allows to take, in, to take into account the correlation structure between subband by molding the wavelet coefficients to multivariate probability distributions. Two types of correlations are investigated in this study, the interscale dependence and interorientation dependence. The first one is to model the dependence between the scales of the same orientation. And the second is to model the dependence between orientations and the, of the same scale. The multivariate Gaussian distribution is used to model the interdependency between wavelet coefficients at different orientation and scales. The kullback level distance is used as is used as a similarity measure to generate the change map. We want to show through this study that the information residing in the correlation between subbands can improve the accuracy of a change map and can lead to better performance. The classical approach to detect change in the SAR images is to perform in a spatial domain. It consists to detect change by comparing the statistic of the two sliding windows. The local statistics are based on a univariate statistical model. The similarity measure of the local statistic is computed using the callback level distance, which is a good similarity indicator for change detection. Once the distance is computed, a binary change map can be generated by choosing a decision threshold. Now, our proposed method performed in wavelet domain, this choice is justified by the fact that texture can be easily represented and discriminated in wavelet domain. Therefore, the implementation of our approach in wavelet decomposition schema can lead to performance change detection. Our approach is shown in the following figure, where a sliding window matter is used and the wavelet transform is applied in each window producing multi-scale oriented subbands that are sensitive to horizontal, vertical, and diagonal edge. Generally, the subbands are assumed to be independent and no dependence across wavelet orientation and scales are modeled, but this dependence exists and it can be employed to provide better accuracy in the similarity measure. For this reason, we choose to use the multivariate distribution. As a consequence, the, the probability density function of a sliding window coefficients of its band is assumed to be multivariate Gaussian distribution. The multivariate Gaussian distribution gives a quite good approximation of the probability distribution of a small regions and can be used to model wavelet coefficients, magnitudes, and correlation between subbands. Finally, the total callback Leblair distance used as similarity measure is the sum of a callback Leblair of each subband, and it is used to generate a final change map. Now, how we can model the interscale dependence? After wavelet decomposition, we have four L sub-images where L is a number of a scale. The sub-images are represented by a new set composed of four L-dimensional random vectors representing the sub-image horizontal, vertical, diagonal details and approximation. These vectors are distributed according to multivariate Gaussian distribution. The symmetric callback level distance of the two sliding windows is given by equation two. It is the sum of the similarity measures of each L-vector of the same orientation. For each orientation, the closed form expression of the kullback Leblanc distance is given by equation three, which depends on the covariance matrices of each L vectors on both mean vectors. As we can see from the covariance matrices, we can take into account the correlation structure between scales of the same orientation. In the case of a subband are assumed and dependent, the total similarity measure of the two sliding windows is given by equation four, which is the sum of the callback Leblanc distance of the wavelet coefficients at different orientation and scales. The expression of a callback Leblanc distance between two Gaussian variables is given by equation five. 
how we can model the anti-orientation dependence. To measure the anti-orientation dependence, we constitute a new set composed of L vectors. Each vector is a four-dimensional random vector composed by variables representing the sub-image horizontal vertical diagonal details and approximations at the scale G. These vectors are distributed according to multivariate Gaussian distributions. The callback Leblanc distance of a two sliding windows is given by equation seven, and it is defined as the sum of the similarity measure of each four vectors of the same scale. In the case of in the case of the orientation, orientation of the scales of the same scales are assumed and dependent, the total similarity of the two sliding windows are defined also by equation four. Finally, the total similarity of the two sliding windows are defined at the sum of the similarity of a similarity measure of equation two and seven. To evaluate our proposed method, a pair of rather sad images acquired before and after the eruption of Niraga Gongu volcano are used in the study. The volcano occurred in January 2002 and the in the following figure, we show two images before and after image, after change, sorry, and binary change map produced using ground measures. To obtain a reliable result, sliding window with size 24, 32, 40, 48 is used for the input images. Each of these sliding windows is decomposed into one, two, or three scales using discrete and decimated stationary wavelet transform as WT with a Debussy filter bank DB1, 2, 3, and 4. For the sake of comparison, two models with and without dependency are used in this study. The first model is defined by equation eight and based on the multivariate Gaussian distribution. And the second model is based on equation four and depends on the Gaussian distribution. To evaluate the accuracy of a change map, the receiver operating characteristic curve is used and the area under the rock curve is computed as a performance measure. The area under curve IUC is a good indicator of change. The larger the area, the better the performance. The area under the curve are shown in the following table. At each window size, the best and the worst values are highlighted in red and green. For, from this table, we can draw the following general conclusion. First, it can be clearly seen that multivariate Gaussian distribution provides better performance than the Gaussian distributions for any window sizes, any scales, and any filters. Second, we can see that as the window size increases, the IUC always increases. For a fixed window size, the IUC increases as the number of scale increases. This can be explained by the fact that the information residing in the dependence between subbands improves the accuracy of a change map. We have also the following particular notes. For a fixed window size and scale, the IUC for multivariate Gaussian distributions and Gaussian distribution decrease as the order of filter increases. This is explained due to the fact that the correlation between the way that subband decrease as the filter order increases. Based on this table, we conclude that the best window size and the best scale are 48 by 38 and for a um, scale equal to, five, uh, to three. Conclusion. In this study, change detection method in wavelet diamond has been proposed. The probability density function of a coefficient of each subband is assumed to be multivariate Gaussian distribution. The total callback Leblanc distance is the sum of a callback Leblanc of each subband. Our approach is evaluated using different window sizes, scales, and compared with the Gaussian distribution. Multivariate Gaussian distribution and wavelet demand shows promising results comparing to the Gaussian distribution. Improvement can be achieved by including other multivariate distributions as 
the multivariate generalized Gaussian distribution, including recent results about the closed form expression of the kullback leblerd for the multivariate generalized Gaussian distribution, including polarization dependence when we deal with polarimetric SAR images. Thank you for your attention.